andika andika toka msari wa kwanza hadi 15 for those people are writing down so you can write john chapter 3 verse 1 to five. Lakini mimi ngoja nisome ule msari kuanzia wa 3. But my focus is on verse 3. Anasema Yesu akajibu akamwambia, "Amini, amini na kuambia." Jesus answered him and say, "Most assuredly, I tell you, mtu asipozaliwa mara ya pili, unless one is born a new again, hawezi kuona ufalme wa Mungu. He cannot enter the kingdom of God." Nikodemu akamwambia, "Awezaje mtu kuzaliwa akiwa mzee?" Nikodemo said to him how can he a man be born when he is so old Aweza kuingia kwenye tumbo la mama yake mara ya pili akazaliwa Can he eat a second time into his mother's womb and be born Yesu akajibu amini amini na kuambia Jesus answered most assuredly I tell you unless one is born mtu asipozaliwa kwa maji na kwa roho unless one is born of water and the spirit hawezi kuingia kwenye ufalme wa Mungu Remember we are talking about living with somebody who has self forgetfulness. Hasa Yesu anatoa qualification za kuingia mbinguni. Jesus is trying to give you some qualification for you to enter in the kingdom of God. Anasema mtu asipozaliwa mara ya pili hawezi kuingia mbinguni. He said that if you are not born again you cannot enter the kingdom of God. Sasa mimi hiyo sina shida. So for me that is not a big deal. Kwa sababu Yesu because the kingdom is for Jesus. Ame set standard kulingana na mbingu yake. He has set some standard for you to go there. Kama anayetakiwa kuingia kule au amezaliwa mara ya pili. There is a condition that if you are good to to to, to heaven you need to be born again. Sasa hiyo mimi sina shida. For me that is not a big deal. Lakini mimi swali langu. But I have one question to ask you today. Kama Yesu angekuepo hapa physically Kwa sababu tukisema umeokoka ili uende mbinguni, if we say that you 
you are set for you to go to heaven. First of all, you are not too high to go to heaven. If you the corona will be able to take you to heaven. You will be able to take you to heaven. You will be able to take you to heaven. You will be able to take you to heaven. You will be able to go to heaven. First of all, you take the barakoa to put on your nose. So that you know when I die all the end of the time. You will be able to take you to heaven. Kidogo na kimbia hospital That is when you get sick you run to go to the hospital Unamambia doctor ahirisha Sitaki kuondoka saizi You tell doctor I want you to pay so my My turn to go to heaven I'm sick Kwa kwa hiyo we ni pedawa za ina zote I need you to give some medicine for you For me to be sick Hati kiweze kama fanya hata operation Even if it is If it is possible for you to do surgery Ili angarau usogeze siku zangu So that you can keep You can keep moving ahead kwa hiyo kumbe unapenda kuishi na sisi So that you, you, you like for you, you You like to live with us too Sasa hili uishi na sisi For you to live with the house here Tunatamani uwebona again We want you to be born again Kwa sababu kuishi na mtu alio okoka Because to live with somebody who served Yeni inakuwa simple kukana It is very simple to live with him together Kuishi na mtu ambaye haja okoka To live with somebody who is not born again Because we don't have another place where we can live without you. We need to be more cool with American. We decided to become American. To stay in our way. We're gonna live together with you. Sasa kama una maisha ya hovyo. If you live in the rubbish life, kwa hiyo sisi ndio tutakao teseka. We are the one who have to be struggling every time. Man utakuna tu patabu ya kuka na we. Because we're gonna give us hard time and trouble. We should not try to get us out. To live with somebody who. Thank you so 
mume wangu so no more tell again to open the Wait, you 
Kuna you know that you have two cars right now you are driving. Muke wako pembeni naye ni gari lingine. The wife is there another car as well too. Unapoendesha hili usisahau kuligusa na hili. If you are driving one, don't forget that your wife as was there. Eh papa, do you feel feel good? You ask your wife, do you feel okay, honey? Vipi naendesha sawa? Am I driving okay, my wife? Na nini? Okay. Kwa ndo kuna unaona tu yuko pale kwenye nanigeo. As you say yes. Kwa sababu mwanamke anataka mtu anayemjali because the wife wants someone to take care about her. Ndio maana hata mkiwa hotelini. And that is when you are at the hotel. Mmeleta chakula. At the restaurant you have the food. Kusa sahani yake angalau kidogo uwe kama unaisogeza hivi. Hata kama haijasogea. Hata ya play to sort this to to make sure that the minute doesn't uh close to you. Utasikia thank you. Thank you. Say, oh, thank you. Yani una, unaonyesha kwamba yupo. You are showing that you are ready to take care of Sasa unaishi na mwanaume hajazaliwa mara ya pili. But if you are living with somebody who is not living with his body and his body again. Wakati wote amejaa mahasira. Every time he is getting mad, he is angry at you. Yaani unategemea mtu awepo wa kukujali lakini yupo yupo. So you are thinking about helping someone who can you can take care of you. Kwa hiyo kuokoka kwako ni faida kwa mkeo. So if you are getting served, it is a benefit for your husband. Au unakuwa na mama ambaye hajaokoka. And you are you live with a wife who is not served. Maana kuna wa mama yani kama hajaokoka kukaa naye ni shida. There are some wives when they are not born again, it is a big problem with them. Yani wakati wote ni mtu wa kuzirazira. Every time they get mad, every time she gets mad. Yani akizira na kununa, when she get mad baba unatafuta njia hii na hii wapi the husband will look the different way that to to make sure that you can take care of your wife but that's not to go ukimgusa kidogo pets when you touch your wife you say don't push don't touch me tena hasa wakijua mume wangu ameokoka hawezi kwenda nje and if they know that my husband is served and he cannot go outside to look for other women you hata kunyanyasa mpaka kuitika be she will only speak to you and you will say oh my wife what is this maana najua huna kwa kwenda because she knows that you cannot go outside to look for other women but when your mama kiokoka but if her wife is sick it is just is born again ana ume umepata wife matiri so the husband after you get a wife matiri ambaye hata siku kikosea kidogo that one day if you mess up somewhere ana ni rahisi kukusamehe it is easy your wife to forgive you lakini kama mtu wokovu hauko ndani yake but if she does not if she is not born again yani msamaha huko mbali forgiveness is so far for her you don't know kuna watu wame wame divorce kwenye vitu vya kijinga that is why some people are divorcing that's all is for little matters that divorce yani vitu ambavyo hata wange visolve peke yao it is so small not that they can sit together and resolve them lakini kwa sababu kristo mwenye kuleta ufahamu wa msamaha because Christ who brought the salvation in the in the forgiveness in their hearts hayupo is not there kwa hiyo nataka tu nilitaka tu unifungue ufahamu wako kidogo i want this all to open your mind for that kwamba usiwe selfish i don't want you to be selfish kwa sababu chochote unachokifanya ni kwa faida yetu na sisi pia that whatever you are doing it is our benefit as you are we are working with you kwa hiyo wokovu sio kwa ajili yako mwenyewe so salvation is not only yourself sisi tuta, tuta enjoy fruits za wokovu wako kwa sababu Yesu amekutengeneza so the rest of the people that will enjoy the fruits of your salvation because Jesus had made you well wangapi wamenielewa how many people understand me kwamba maisha yako matakatifu sio kwa faida yako the, the spiritual life is not that not depend on yourself kwa ndio maana mtu anapokataa kuokoka that is why if someone does not that does not to be born again asiseme yana mahusu nini he can not say that another that, that, that is for you guys kwamba mimi nisipookoka this is my choice in in somebody not say that because if you if you not serve in that my choice why you are anasema kwa nini yeye anawahusu nini and because that okay what what better to you guys yani inatuhusu sana it is it is very it is interesting to us as well if you are getting sorry kwa sababu na sisi tutateseka na na dhambi zako because your sin will make us in trouble as well kwani ni kwambie let me tell you something kweli biblia inasema kila mtu ataubeba mzigo wake i understand that the bible says that each one of us must carry his sin or his baggage 
na jehanamu to go to hell ni sawa i know that lakini matokeo ya dhambi tutayashiriki na sisi but the result of sin we get go, we 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 will share together with you yes kwa sababu dhambi yako unayoifanya itakupeleka jehanamu sawa lakini matokeo ya ya hiyo dhambi na sisi tunashiriki your sin will affect you to heaven but your sin will affect us too kwa sababu hauishi peke yako because you don't even know kwa mfano kuna watu wengine hapa mmeoa na kuolewa example there are some people here they are married wife and wife and husband na uliweka nadhiri and you make a promise to god kwamba nitakuwa mwaminifu kwa mke wangu au na mume wangu be faithful to my wife or to my husband sasa usipoishi maisha ya uaminifu and if you don't live a life of faithful huyu anatakaye teseka pia ni mke wako there's a very big trouble is your wife atakaye teseka pia ni mume wako your wife will be in trouble too kwa sababu ya kutokutunza uaminifu because you are not faithful on your promise that you made on your marriage ndio maana nimesema uwache usefu Yes. That, that, that I said, you know, I say what you toyo kwa sababu ukijijali mwenyewe because if you are self, self selfish una unashindwa kujali maumivu ya mwenzako and without understanding the pain of your friend or your heart or your wife wewe ni mchawi na mshirikina you are a witty craft and a, a, a sorcerer lazima ujali maisha ya mwenzako pia you need to take care about the life of your friend as well kuna vitu vingine unanyinyima kwa faida ya mwenzako there something that sometimes that you you you, you, you don't you, sometimes that you you, you Yes, you yes. forget yourself that you can help your friends. Kwa sababu unapo unapojali maisha mwenzako pia. When you think about the life of your friend, he, your, your, your friends, hiyo ndio sehemu ya maisha ya watu waliokoka. And that is the life of, of the people observed. Yuko tayari wakati mwingine kuumia. Sometimes they can be in pain because of you. Ili mwenzake awe salama. So his friend can be okay. Ndio maana Yesu alipigwa msalabani. And that is why Jesus was on the cross. Alipeswa. He was he was, he was crucified. Ali aliyakubali mateso ili sisi tuwe salama. And he accepted all that so that we can live in a free life. Kwa hiyo wakati mwingine usipende tu furaha ya moyo wako. Don't just only think everything for your happiness kama hiyo furaha ya moyo wako unayoitafuta inaumiza mwenzako if the happiness that you have and is is is, is bring pain to your friend or to your neighbor unasema ah mimi ni mtoto nimeshakuwa na miaka zaidi ya 20 ninahitaji freedom if you are a child and you are saying that i need freedom wakati huyu huo uhuru wako unawatesa wazazi wako and if the freedom is bringing pain to your parents Yaani wanakupeleka shule, they are trying to take you to school. Wewe unatoka shule unaenda kufanya mambo yako. And you are going to go to the open school and you are going to do your own stuff which is not right. Wakati wazazi wako wanaumia kulipa school fees. And here your parents are paying your school fees to school for you to go to school. Wanafanya kazi ngumu, yani hawarari usingizi. They are working hard night and time ili wapate pesa wewe usome. So they can get money for you to go to school. Alafu wewe unaacha masomo unaenda kuruka na ugona na maisha yako. You don't want to go to school again you just go over there to do something which is not right. Unaingia kutumia hizi drugs hizi ambazo zimeharibu maisha yako. And you start using drugs that will, 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 will destroy your life. Alafu unasema mimi muniache na ni, 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 niko na uhuru wangu. And you tell it you are telling your parents this Let me let me free I am free to do everything that I want. Unajua kuna vitu vingine unatakiwa kufanya nje ya uelewa wa dunia. You know you something that you need to do an extra in that of this world. Dunia inatetea watu wawe huru kabisa. You know the world is there just to make people to be free. Sawa. It's okay. Lakini huo uhuru una una unawafanya wenzako nao kaa nao maisha yao yaweje. But you need to think about your freedom does not does that as it make other people to live well with you sasa kuna watu ambao anajijali yeye there are some people that are thinking about themselves only lakini hajali watu wanaoishi nao they don't want to think about other people na wengine wako tayari kuwaumiza watu wengine and other people they are ready to hurt other people kama itamsaidia yeye kupata 
maisha fulani if they will have themselves to get a title or to be known wao tunarudi kwenye somo letu so when are the day we will be back for our title of yesterday wishi na mtu aliyejisahau so if you live with somebody of self forgiveness yani atatufanya sisi tuteseke will make us to live into trouble kwa hiyo nakusii ndugu yangu so i'm 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 beseech you my friend hebu fika mahali kumbuka ile nadhiri uliyoiweka come at the point and remember the promises that you made wengine hata mlipokuwa africa au wapi na wapi some of you they were back in africa somewhere some of your friends places ukasema nikifika marekani nitamkua na mtumikia and you said also that when i go to to america i will say for cross sitaacha ibada i will not leave the service yani nitaendelea na maombi ya kufunga na kuomba i continue with fasting and praying ulikuwa kule africa when you were back home in africa ulipofika hapa by the time you came to america ukapata na vibarua na kazi and you get the citizenship and you get all the dog ukashika vihera hela kidogo and you think you start getting some dollars money habari ya kufunga kwisha the story of fasting is ended but habari za ibada kwisha to go to the church service you are done ndio maana siku moja nilikuwa nafundisha somo moja that is why Tanzania was preaching one day nikasema pata hela tukujue tabia yako and i said you need to get money so we can know your attitude or your behavior yani shika hela ya kutosha tujue kichwa chako kilivyo kibovu so we want we want you to have money enough money so we can know how how, how much your brain is na siku moja nilizungumza kanisani and one day i said into the in the church ukweli hayakuwa maneno mazuri You know really it was not a good a good words na sitaki kuyarudia hapa and i don't like to repeat those words here ila nikwambie nilivyokosea kule so that what i did there kwa hiyo kwa hiyo kwa hiyo hapa sitasema nasema hiyo au nonsense but the words sitasema mwenye kiti i will not say kwa sababu naweza kukosa mwaliko wa mwaka kesho na mimi natamani kurudi tena. Amen. Kwa hiyo mnashangilia kwamba mwaka mwaka kesho nirudi tena. Ni watu mubarikiwe mpaka mshangae. Kwa hiyo ni sema nilivyosema kule. Kwa sababu hapa siko sehemu sahihi sana. Kwa kule niliwaambia hivi kuna watu tuko nao kanisani kwa sababu wanapambana na hali zao there some people who live them in the church because they are depending on their matters yani yani siku wakifanikiwa hatutawaona and when they get money they will, will not see them again in the church sio maana nyie watu nimewaona watu wa ajabu sana that is why i see you people you are people very different people yani pamoja na ubize mlionao lakini leo umejaa naomba hiyo roho iendelee katika jina la Yesu yaani usini kumwacha Mungu aliyekutendea mambo makubwa na ninakuombea afya kamili ufaini mema ya nchi na kuombea watoto wako Mungu awashike wasije wakaharibika naombea ibada isije ikaisha kwenye nyumba yako pamoja na ubize wa kazi lakini usiache ibada maana Mungu aliyekutoa Afrika alifanya muujiza kwa ajili ya kazi yake pia yaani nyie watu mmenihubiria kwamba bado mnampenda bado mna mwabudu Mungu katikati ya nchi ambayo watu wako busy kutafuta fedha wanasema uh, pata pesa tujue kichwa chako kile they say that get money so we can know how is your brain working ndio maana hata wana 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 wanaume and that is why you see some men kichwa cha mke wako ni kizima au ni kibofu for you to understand that the mentality of your wife is okay or not muombe apate kazi yenye mshahara mkubwa kuliko wako pray for her and get a job and get a salary 
Yani yeye ya wanalipwa pesa nyingi. So he can be paying a lot of money away. Anaweone bado anakutii na kukuheshimu. And if you can see she still does the spread mama vichwa vingi. Kuna mama vichwa vinaruka kakapishi. There some wives their brain are very high. Ana kuzaharamu pale nyumbani. She gonna ignore you and Unajua wa mama wenye vichwa vibovu unajua Marekani hawapo kule kule nini wacha Afrika Kule Afrika tuna wa mama wenye vichwa vibovu kwe In Africa we have some we wives that them broken minds Yaani akifanya kitu kwenye familia if, if she does something great in the family kwa pesa yake on her own with money Hey, oh, my husband, the husband is going to be in trouble. Yani, if the wife pays the school fees for the kids, ah, I'm sorry. She She's going to tell all our friends. Hey, how are you there? Are you okay? We are still paying for our kids at school. Man, man, because you know my husband is only the husband. I pay the bill for my to my to my kids. Ana piga simu mpaka Afrika. She gonna call people in Africa. Kuna ndere yake huko. How are you there in Africa? Msione kama tumewasahau. Don't think that we are forgetting. Ni kwa sababu nipo nalipa fees ya watoto. I'm still paying the school fees. Yaani mume wangu yupo yupo tu. When he paid when he paid for the food, ana sema ni petoka kununua vya kula. Mana mimi ni mepeba sasa majukumu ya mana ume mana ume yupo yupo. Yani kuna wa mama kishika hera kuliko wewe. Ana fanya mitu mule ndani. They do something there at home. Utateseka. You will be in trouble. Kyo mana na wambia mana ume tafute ni hera. And I'm telling you it to the pastors. Panga ratiba nzuri ya ibada. You, you need to have a good program of the church service. Usiwakalishe watu wanashinda kanisani. Do not put people much time where they are trouble. Wanashindwa na kutafuta hela. They get too much in the church and they are busy not looking money. Kweli kiroho watakuwa vizuri na watamkanyanga shetani. This one is be okay if they can stop the, the, the demon. Eh, hey, namkanyanga shetani. And they can stop the Lakini ukimaliza kumkanyaga huwezi kumtengeneza supu. But after uh, the devil, the to become the food. Kwa sababu shetani ni shetani tu. Because the devil is the devil. Utatakiwa utafute chakula. So you need to look for the you need to food, you need to look for food. Kwa hiyo naomba wana wanaume fanya kazi. I'm telling men, you need to work hard. Ili angalau angalau vihera utakavyopata vikupe kaheshima. So that Because the Bible says that give each other, share each other. No one has a role to all our body. Lakini 
Sasa mwanaume unataka kukumbuka kifo cha Yesu. But when the, the husband is ready to do that, lakini mchungaji wako hayuko tayari. But your wife is not ready for that. Ndio maana kuna wanaume wanaamua kutoka kwenda kutafuta makanisa mengi. That is why you see how they are going out to look for other women. But wait, so that's not women. Other churches. <laughs>
Watatupa tabu because they're going to give us a hard time to live. Watatupa mateso kukanao. It will be trouble to live with them. Kwa hiyo kama maisha yako ya kiroho hayako sawa, if your spiritual life is not okay, watu na waishi nao wanateseka na wewe. The people that live together with you they are in trouble. Inawezekana wewe una habari. Sometimes you don't know about it. Lakini mimi ndio nimekupa taarifa. But I'm here to announce you that. Kwamba maisha yako ya kiroho yasipokuwa sawa, if your spiritual life is not okay, watu na waabudu nao, people who are saying you are watching with together, wale unaoka nao kwenye familia, people are living with you in the family. Mimi nakwambia ukweli. I'm telling you the truth. Wanateseka. They are in trouble. Inawezekana hawajawahi kukwambia. If you are telling that if I've been in the blame, they check, they don't 
na shida you need to know that you preach so how afya yako ya kiroho ina shida your preach so how big is in trouble kwanza leo from now on mwambie mtu gani usinipigie ovyo ovyo bila afya don't call me again i have mwambie ni mtu gani nakumbuka kesho ni ibada watafuta wenye afya ya shida i know you want to take the service come on up people but i remember that Mwambie mchungaji mimi hata nikiugua sio lazima niwape taarifa. Tell pastor even from the only from sick I don't I don't need to tell you about that. Labda, labda kuwe na shida sana. I have we have a we have a deep problem. Lakini ni shida kidogo kidogo hivi. Have a small problem. Na na visovu mwenyewe. I saw myself with Jesus. Kazi sana mtapokea testimony. Because in the church you can receive one day testimony. Ah, wakati niwaambia nilikuwa nimeuma wiki mbili. You tell that I was sick this two weeks. Lakini Yesu ameniponya. Jesus has served me. Wakati wa kisa unashanga hey and then you say oh kumbe alikuwa na umwa oh was he sick hey haja tuambie oh he didn't tell us yuko machua because he is machua wewe sio usile mtu wa kulialia no be someone is complaining every time yani hata kama watu wamekuja kukuona and even if people are coming to see you unaacha kuona upendo wao kukufuata don't look upon their love to follow you unaangalia walivyovileta
Because you call me and you call me to a so the husband about Africa. And you to with the high price to leave Africa. And to come again to bring some giving No, that is an offer that the church is bringing to you. 
Sasa kama siku moja offer zikakata if one day you don't bring the offer to you lakini wewe target yako ni kwenda mbinguni but your target is to go to the heaven mwambie tena jirani yako na kukumbusha jirani tell your neighbor that I'm demanding you my neighbor hapa umekaa na msafiri mwenzako when you sit down here you sit with a passenger wote tuna target kwenda mbinguni oh as we are targeting to go to heaven kwa hiyo ukipata shida yoyote muita ni kupasa so it's a trouble when I call the one who gave you the ticket mwambie usinisumbue mimi do not give me hard time yani mimi nikikusaidia jambo lolote if i help you something ni upendo wa abiria kwa abiria mwenzako I know that you are now tired and we want to finish. Eh? Are you tired? No, ni ni sasa. No ni kuendelea. No continue. No to stop. Let us continue. Professor wangu aliniambia, my professor told me one day, Pastor Nani ana ana anajua. Pastor Paul. Kwa kwamba Pastor Paul knows this, I will tell him wana saikolojia psychology people psychology psychiatrists yes wanasema the psychologists say this ukiona mtu aliweka bibi aliweka biblia huko when you see somebody has put the bible this way alafu anaihamisha tena anaweka huko and the text is put on this way hiyo ni sign kwamba amechoka this is a sign that is tired and ukiona mtu alikaa hivi when you see somebody sitting like this amebadilika tena anaweka hivi hiyo ni sahihi kwamba amechoka is a sign that he is tired kwa hiyo inabidi pastor ndugu ujielewe so the party to understand that sign uweze kujua you need to understand that sign amen amen mwangalie jirani yako ndio stage aliyokuwa amekaa wakati look you never that the position you see to where you see to go au amechange or he changed the position is a sign of that you are tired right Hallelujah. Amen. Ni kwa kusema. I need to finish saying by saying this. Nimeongea mambo kama ma, mawili matatu hivi. I spoke two to three to three words. Hasara ya kuishi na mtu aliyejisahau. That the damage to live with somebody with a self forgetness. Yaani natamani what I desire ni tuwe na watu sahihi kwenye familia na kwenye makanisa. We have good people in the church in, and in our families. Yaani wewe uwepo wako utupe nafuu ya kukana wewe. So your prayers can give us benefit to live with you. Kwa sababu hatuwezi kupata watu wengine zaidi yako. Because we cannot get other people more than you. Wewe ni mtu wa muhimu sana. You are very important person in our families and our churches. Kwa hiyo tunaomba ishi maisha ya kimungu so we want you to live a life of of a godly love ili wenzio tupate nafu so other people can get the benefit from you najua tutakuwa na section nyingine baadaye i know we're going to have a second time or second session kuna vitu pia nataka kuviongea and i have other stuff that i need to ni, niongee ni kujisahau kuna kuna sababisha vitu fulani i will talk about forgetness can it bring them na, can it cause na, na, na hivyo ndivyo ambavyo vinalitafuna kanisa kwa sasa and that is the thing that is, is making the church to be uh, na, na ina 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 haribu familia and it is showing the families why you scorch john so don't be late uh, in this evening afternoon kwa sababu naongea vitu vya maana because i'm going to release some hard stuff kwa, kwa ajili ya maisha yako for your life mimi wacha tu nikwambie ukweli alafu ni kazi yako kwenda kuutendea. I'm here to tell you the truth. So it's open to you to go to work in actions. Unakuna unajua kuna dozi daktar anakuandikia kumeza ni kazi yako. You know there's a the doctor write the dose. For you it's up to you now to go to take them at home. Usipomeza ukifa daktar hadaiwi. If you don't use those medicine if you die it's not it's not a big issue to the doctor no. Daktar haji kwenye kamati ya mazishi. The doctor will not come to the funeral committee. Yeye yeah, akikwachia dawa ni kazi yako kumeza. Only listen when he gives you some medicine is up to you not to take them. Lakini kitu ambacho nataka kikae kwenye akili yako. I want, I want you to understand right now. Tunatamani uishi maisha matakatifu utupunguzie mzigo wa kuishi. I want you to live a holy life, a holiness life so you can take the burden from us. Wewe uende ulikuwa ujui. If you didn't know about it wakati wa hubiri wa 
watu wanahubiri wachungaji wanahubiri when the pictures and the pastors are preaching nimekwambia ulifikiri tu tunatamani ukamuone Yesu you thought maybe just sorry you to go to heaven kwenda mbinguni ni kwa baba yako to go to heaven is easy because it is there your in the presence of your father usitukishe na kwenda kwa baba yako Don't make us like that is a it's a new for for you to go to to your house sisi tuna benefit ukiishi maisha matakatifu tumepata mtu sasa for us we benefit because you live a good life and holy life tukikuoa tumeoa mtu sahihi if they will be marry you we met another a, a good person tukiolewa nasi na sisi umeolewa na watu sahihi if you are you will marry a good person tukikupata kuwa pastor wetu tuko na mtu sahihi if you we get you as our pastor we get you as a good person yani ukiwa member wa church tumepata mtu sahihi and you become a church a member of the church we, we get a good person kwa hiyo tunaomba uishi maisha ya kimungu so we want you to live a holiness life naomba tusimame i want you to stand up please pole kwa kuvumilia sorry for you to be patient Uh, by the way uh, 